All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out Polo Red Remix. Of course, this is one of the many flankers in the Polo series of fragrances. They've got a lot of them at this point, and actually this is the only one that I own a bottle of. So in terms of comparing this to basically the rest of the flankers out there, that's not something I'm gonna be doing today. Um, you know, after getting this fragrance, now I want to go ahead and kind of get the rest of the line. So I'm gonna get some of the more popular ones and maybe at some point I'll do a video comparing all of the polo flankers, you know, like I've done with Blue de Chanel and Terre d'Hermes and all those fragrances. I'll kind of compare them all together, but today we are just focusing on Polo Red Remix. The reason why I chose this one is because really, I haven't seen too much out there on it. Maybe like one video uh, kind of highlighting this fragrance, that's about it. And even on Fragrantica, there's only like three reviews. So, you know, if you're thinking about buying this one, there's not a lot of information to go off of in terms of, you know, getting other people's feedback and what they think of it. So I wanted to go ahead and put this video out to you guys kind of give you my thoughts on it if you were considering it. And another reason why I figured I'd go ahead and review this one is because I believe it just recently hit discounters. I was browsing on a couple discount websites that I shop often and in the new arrivals, this one was on there. Um, fragrance Net and Fragrance X, I both both believe have this fragrance, so I will link it down below. Whichever one's cheapest, um, I'll drop a link to and you guys can pick up a bottle for yourself at discount, that's what I ended up doing. So, you know, I figured let's go ahead and put a video out on this one, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I actually think this fragrance smells really good, so we're gonna go ahead and review it today, of course, I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it, and really, most importantly, if I think it's worth picking up. Let's get into it. So when you first spray this fragrance on, what you notice right away is that it actually has quite a bit of a freshness. It's got clary sage and it's got amberwood. Those are two notes that are kind of giving it this somewhat fresh, clean, um, semi-sweet type of feeling. Of course, the amberwood coming across as ambroxan. You smelled it a million times. Uh, it's kind of, in a way, reminiscent to something like Armani Code Colonia. That one uses amberwood and it kind of has a little bit of this fresh, clean type of thing going on and also some sweetness. And that's kind of what you get here. Um, you know, looking at the note breakdown, you see it's got cranberry and it's got coffee among some other, you know, interesting notes. So, you know, when you first spray this one on, you don't really know what to expect. You do kind of get hit with that clean, fresh blast going on in the opening. And right away, you kind of get the idea that, yep, this is going to be a mass appealing, easy to wear, uh, semi-generic type of scent. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but I am just making you aware of the fact that this is not going to be some new creation, something that you've never smelled before or anything like that. It's simply just, that's not gonna be the case here. You know, this is gonna be something that is a bit generic and that you've probably smelled before in one way or another. Um, you will probably think in your head, you know, I feel like I've smelled this somewhere or I feel like I've smelled something similar to this before. That's kind of, uh, you know, what went through my head when I first smelled this one. It's <laughs> pretty cool. So depending on what you like in terms of your fragrances when you're shopping and when you're deciding what to wear, you know, this may be one where you'll think, okay, that kind of is right up my alley. It's something that's clean and fresh and has a little bit of a sweetness, so it's gonna be very versatile and mass appealing. Or on the other hand, if you want something that's gonna be kind of challenging, something a bit different that's gonna make you, you know, think, whoa, this is something different. This is something that stands apart in my collection. You know, if, if you're someone like that, this is not gonna be for you. But if you are a guy, perhaps you're a bit younger, and you just care really more or less about the mass appeal and about you know being able to wear it for about anything, and this fragrance is gonna fit in really well for you. So it's easy to get annoyed at these fragrances when they come out and you know it smells kinda of generic, it smells kinda of similar to what we smelled before, you know, and I get that, but you gotta realize for the general public, this is the type of thing that they want. And when they go into a Macy's or you know, some sort of department store, they pick this one up and smell it, they're gonna love it. And you know, the women around them are gonna love it as well. That's just kind of how this type of thing works when you're dealing with designer fragrances, you know, especially from a house like Polo. They're not out there creating revolutionary scents anymore. You know, something at least like Dior and Chanel were kind of really changing it up there at some point. You know, you don't expect a whole lot from fragrance houses like this. So let's go and talk a little bit more about the development of the fragrance. We already touched on the opening, so let's talk about the dry down here. Kind of the mid and dry down is when you get 
get a bit more of that sweetness. And actually, I do pick up on that coffee note a little bit. And it does smell really nice. Gives it a nice sweetness, a little bit of a fall and winter type of feel. Kind of gives it like a cozy type of smell as well. Like something that you would want to wear in the fall. You know, if you're uh, a little bit cool outside, you're maybe uh, cuddling up with someone or, you know, just getting close with someone in the fall. Kind of has that type of vibe it puts off. So, you know, like I've said a million times at this point, when you combine fresh and sweet, you have a fragrance that is going to get you a ton of compliments. That's just how it works, and these companies realize that. So that's what this one does. A little bit fresh in the opening, a little bit sweet in the dry down. You got a, a diversification of notes here. Anything from you know amber wood, which is pretty generic, uh, clary sage, which is kind of underutilized a little bit. I love that note. Um, and then you have like coffee and cranberry. Now the cranberry, I'll be honest, I don't get a whole lot of that. You know, I, I'm not a, an expert in cranberries. I had them before it's not my favorite thing but I don't really smell too much of a cranberry type of thing for me personally you know mostly in the dry down what I am picking up on the most is going to be that amber wood and a little bit of that coffee that we talked about so from opening to dry down it's going to be a compliment getting wearable versatile designer fragrance all the way through talking about quality here it's not awful now, you know, again, I don't have too much experience with polo fragrances, so, you know, I can't compare it to any of the other ones in terms of quality, but I do think, you know, it could be maybe a little better. Um, when you smell it, it's almost just a bit, not screechy, but you can tell that, you know, it, it's not the most expensive thing ever, and you're, you're not getting this for a cheap price. I mean, it's still a designer price, $50, $60, whatever it's going for on discounters. You know, that's that's a good amount of money. So I do think quality could be a little bit better here. In terms of performance, it's, it's again, it's not going to be the greatest. About five hours longevity on average on my skin. So it's not awful, but it's really not that good. So it depends on if you are a performance snob, you have to wear everything that gets 10 plus hours. This isn't going to be for you. In terms of projection, you're going to be getting, you know, kind of uh, a little bit out of your scent bubble when you first spray it. If you're wearing it on an extremely hot day like today, which I wouldn't do, but if you did that, it would project a lot. Um, you know, the situations where I see this one fit for mostly in fall and slightly cooler weather, it's going to project okay if you spray heavy but you know it's not going to have the heat to make it project typically with summer fragrances they don't project that well on their own but the heat makes them do that you know and the thing with this is it's not really something you'd want to wear in high heat so i do wish it had a little bit more strength to go off your skin on its own without needing heat bearing down on it to get it to push out not the end of the world but performance could definitely be better and in terms of when you can wear the scent i mean i pretty much kind of alluded to that the whole video but a mass appealing, versatile, compliment getting scent. You can do about anything with it. It's nothing to overthink here. You know, you could wear it um, dressed down casually. Um, you could wear it on perhaps a date if you wanted to. Only thing I would say is not really going to be a formal scent. You know, if you want to be taken seriously and if you want to smell, um, you know, well put together and like, you know, you're the boss, that sort of thing. You know, if you're wearing a suit and stuff, this isn't the one for you. It's just a bit too sweet, too youthful, but just about everything else, casual to date, having fun. This is going to be a fragrance that works great for that. So really to go ahead and start to wrap this one up, my final thoughts on Polo Red Remix. Uh, is it worth picking up? Uh, in my opinion, if you like this sort of thing and you want to add another one of this type of thing to your collection, then yeah, it would be worth a shot. Now, for me, am I glad I have it? Actually, surprisingly, yes. Even if it sounds like I've been kind of digging on this one a little bit, you know, I do think it smells good and I am glad that I have it. Will you see this one show up in more videos? Yeah, probably. You know, it is on discounters now, so you guys can get it without having to pay ungodly retail price, which is always a plus side. And it is something I feel could have some uses. Again, especially for you guys out there who let that wind pass for a minute because I know how awful it gets. You probably can't even hear me right now. And now I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm going to try to think of what I was saying here. Um, for you younger guys out here, this is going to be the type of thing that you would be interested in and I think it would be a great choice if you are looking for something youthful, fun, and playful at a, a pretty good price. you know. And, and of course, like I've said before with these designer fragrances, when someone asks you what you're wearing and you tell them it's a polo fragrance, 
you're gonna get points. And again, that's something if you are after the mass appeal stuff and you are gonna be getting compliments a lot, it's kinda cool to have a name brand um, you know, fragrance that you're wearing so you can tell people. I know that sounds stupid for probably most of you guys, but if you are younger, like I once was, now I'm 20 so I'm really old, um, as we're losing focus here. Now I'm 20, so I'm really old. But when I was young, like 19, all I cared about was, you know, flexing and telling people that I had designer fragrances. I'm just kidding, by the way. That's a joke. But you get what I'm saying here. If you're a younger guy and you're wearing a polo fragrance, people are probably going to think you're pretty cool. So, guys, that's going to do it for me. That's my final thoughts on Polo Red Rush. Overall, not too bad. Was I expecting miracles? No. Did we get miracles? No. So, I mean, hey thumbs up there you know I wasn't expecting anything crazy and it was nothing crazy but in terms of a compliment getting good smelling versatile fragrance this is what that is so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one let me know down below if you've tried this one if you like it if you want to get it what you think of it and if you do want to get it I will link it down below in the description at a discounted price whichever discounter has it cheapest is the link that will be down there so follow that link pick up a bottle if you're interested that's going to do it for me guys stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.